Welcome to Mrs. Bean's fourth grade class. My name is Katie Bain and I am excited about teaching fourth grade to our remote learners this year. This will be my eighth year of teaching. I have two children, a fifth grader and a kindergartner. Our family enjoys spending time outdoors, riding our bikes, game nights, and playing with our dog. We will have many wonderful experiences and opportunities to learn and grow in the days ahead. Together, we can look forward to a positive, inspiring, and exciting year. This year for remote learning, we will be using Student View for the majority of our assignments. When we meet for whole group or small group instruction, we will be using the Zoom video app. Students will not be spending our entire day on the screen. There will be times when your student will be asked to complete pages in their math binder, write in their writing journal, or use the dry erase board and marker to complete a task. In looking at our schedule, students will begin their day with specials. All of our specials teachers will be loading activities into student view each week. We will then meet together as a class on Zoom for our morning meeting and whole group math lesson. We will break apart into small groups. Students will be working with me during one of their small group sessions. When they're not meeting with me, they will have activities and assignments to work on. We will then have a lunch break, and if you have students in more than one grade level at home participating in remote learning, lunch for all the grade levels will be at the same time. We will come back together for our afternoon whole class instruction in which we will focus on reading, writing, and phonics standards. We will break apart into small groups and just like our morning small group time, when students are not meeting with me, they will have activities and assignments to work on. During the last hour of the day, I will have office hours. And if you have questions for me or if your child needs extra help with one of their assignments from the day, I will be available to chat with you. During this time, students will be independently working on a science or social studies assignment through Student View. This year, the Olathe School District has developed a set of priority standards that are most important to your child's learning needs. These standards were carefully selected to not only influence a student's success now, but also in future grade levels. Teachers place a high degree of focus on priority standards by spending more time instructing, assessing, and providing feedback to students. This will help students gain a level of mastery for future success. We will be focusing on these priority standards this year to make sure students are prepared for fifth grade. Here is a brief overview of the different topics that we will be discussing in fourth grade and that the kids will be learning. During our morning meeting, we will be focusing on social emotional learning, otherwise known as SEL, which will help students work on things like coping with feelings and setting goals. It also helps students with their interpersonal skills, such as working in teams and resolving conflicts. We will be talking about our feelings and how we feel about learning and how we can support each other this year. In our classroom, students are expected to make choices that help them do their very best learning. They're expected to be kind and take care of each other, and they're expected to do their very best and keep trying even when things get tough. As we are video chatting on Zoom for our whole group and small group instruction time, it is very important for students to be able to focus during our lesson. Some ways to help encourage this is for students to find a quiet place away from any noise or distractions, meaning like no TV going on in the background or a radio or having pets in the room. They need to make sure that they show up on time and have all materials prepared and ready to go. I'd encourage them to check the sound and video to make sure that they're working and prior to class. During our class time, they need, just like we are in the regular classroom, they need to raise their hand to speak or participate. They need to be respectful with others when they're speaking and to mute their microphone. And above all else, have fun, work hard, and encourage others. I am here to help and guide you through the process of remote learning. My goal is for us to work together to help make sure your child has a successful school year. 
If you need anything, please let me know. I look forward to seeing all of our students soon.